Hey everyone, my name is Eric and today we are going to be making spinach ohitashi, which is a Japanese side dish. So I have a bunch of spinach that I need to finish off uh, and I'm just going to put them into a pot, have some water boiling over here. Uh, well, let's get that started again. Uh, have some water boiling. Uh, we're just going to blanch this spinach for about two minutes. Uh, then we're going to rinse it in cold water to stop it from cooking. And then dress it in a marinade. It's a really delicious side dish, super easy and fast to make. Uh, and yeah, uh, lasts for a few days so you can make it in advance. So water is boiled, spinach is already in the pot. I'm just going to turn on the heat and just pour this directly in. And the spinach is almost immediately going to start wilting. Make sure all the spinach is submerged. We're on high heat. And we're just gonna cook that for about two minutes until it is done. Uh, in the meantime, on this side, we're gonna start on the marinade, the sauce. And the sauce is super simple. Sake, mirin, soy sauce, and a little bit of dashi. These are the four, you know, core flavors of Japanese cooking. And we're gonna add in ratios of about one part sake to one part mirin, if you like it a little bit sweeter, and add a little bit more. Two parts soy and two parts dashi. Um, if you're familiar with the concept of ichiban and niban dashi, uh, you want to use ichiban dashi here, which is the stronger initial stock. If you're using a sort of stock powder, generally I would say dilute it by, or sorry, concentrate it by about a factor of two. So we're just going to, again, heat this up, let the alcohol reduce a little bit, uh, and our spinach is almost done. What we want is we want to get the spinach to a point where, you know, it still has a little bit of its uh, freshness uh, and sort of crunch, uh, but isn't, you know, fully soggy and mushy. And that way it'll be really, really refreshing, even after it's sat in the fridge and marinated for a few days in this marinade that we're making. And what we're going to do after uh, the spinach is done cooking is we're actually going to squeeze out the water as much as we can um, after shocking the spinach and this will sort of allow all the cells in the spinach to sort of make way for the marinade that we're going to make uh, when we first pour it in there's going to be it's gonna seem like a lot of marinade but uh, over the next few uh, days it'll slowly absorb it overnight and it'll get more and more delicious uh, as you kind of leave it in the fridge and it'll last for you know about up to four days ish especially since the marinade is kind of salty so i'm going to bring this over here and kind of drain it once we're at this stage we are going to squeeze out the spinach portion it out in here and once the marinade is done reducing uh, we can then take that and marinate it so typically here what I do is I kind of squeeze and use my thumb to press out the juices. Rotating that around a little bit. And then once it's kind of gotten all its juices squeezed out, roll it up in a little bit of a log here and set it in the bowl. I'm just going to repeat until all the spinach has been de-liquefied. All right, so once our spinach has been portioned out, I'm going to take our marinade and just pour it right in. Perfect. And lastly, I have some onion and leek oil. I'm just gonna 
an address, and a little bit of sesame oil. Whoop. I'm gonna dress there as well. Let's clean that up. And last but not least, let's take some sesame seeds. And we're just gonna take them and gently sprinkle them over Now, this is going to get a lid slapped on it. And we're gonna, at the very minimum, leave this overnight to marinade so that it can kind of absorb that nice flavor of the sauce. And that's it. Uh, this will last for, again, about three to four days in the fridge. Super delicious, super easy to make, um, very few ingredients, and yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.